Hi guys, welcome to Eatist Indian channel and today I'm going to show you how to make delicious, flavorful chicken keema mara curry. Really easy to make and it goes very well with rice, with parantha, with naan. So if you're looking for a quick chicken dish, I suggest stick around and watch how to make this delicious dish. So begin by adding 3 tablespoons of oil in a pan and let the oil get hot and add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, let them crackle and then add 2 dried red chilies. I just crush them with my hand and put them in. You can also use just one if you are afraid of heat, afraid of spice. Next add 1 tablespoon each of ginger and garlic paste. Give these ingredients about 30 more seconds and then go ahead and add 1 large chopped onion. So adding our onion in and we'll thoroughly mix our onion with ginger and garlic with cumin and dried red chili and once it's nicely incorporated we'll go ahead and add our spices so after about a minute or two go ahead and add salt should be as per taste turmeric that's healthy half a teaspoon and coriander powder half a teaspoon so mix all these spices well together and let your onions fry. You want to get them golden brown. You can cook them until they are completely brown as well, up to you. So I like this nice golden color. So I'm going to go ahead and add now 2 tablespoons of tomato paste. So adding 2 tablespoons of tomato paste gives a nice flavor to our dish makes everything juicy so once the tomato paste is well incorporated add one cup of water stir everything together and after about two minutes once the water is nicely blended in go ahead and add your chicken we are using about 350 grams of chicken here so ground chicken you can also use a lamb ground lamb or beef if you want make sure that there are no lumps so stir everything nicely you will notice that as chicken cooks the color is going to turn from a reddish yellow to brownish so after about three minutes go ahead and add your green peas we are using the frozen kind so halfway through cooking our chicken we have added the green peas We'll let everything cook for another 3 minutes. Look at that. Beautiful. Everything has come together nicely. Our dish is almost ready. Just adding a half a teaspoon of garam masala for some extra flavoring. Garnishing it with cilantro leaves. And now we can go ahead and serve it with our favorite bread. Hope you enjoyed watching this recipe video. And we'll give this recipe a try. Go ahead and make it tonight. Let us know how it turns out for you. And we will bring around some more flavorful recipes. So please don't forget to subscribe to Eat East Indian channel. Thank you for watching this recipe video. Please also check out our Facebook page Eat East Indian and follow us on Twitter.